How's it going guys? Welcome to Budget Build Garage. Today we're doing another Taylor's Tech Tip and we're going to show you guys how to test if you're pulling enough vacuum to run a brake booster with one of these guys. Alright, so setting up your vacuum gauge is really easy. Um, all you have to do is unplug a, the vacuum hose from the carburetor, uh, plug it back in of course with a bolt, that way you're not getting a vacuum leak, and then taking your gauge plugging the hose into the carburetor and you're set. So before you decide on buying your booster you need to determine how many uh, inches of vacuum that booster requires. Um, in our case our booster requires a minimum of 14 inches of vacuum so what we're gonna do is start the car, let it idle, idle for a while and then put it in drive and then this gauge here is gonna tell us whether or not we have a minimum of 14 inches of vacuum. Alright man, ready when you are. Yep. Alright, so as you guys can see, uh, we're pulling between 15 and 16 inches of vacuum. Um, you can actually use the vacuum gauge uh, to tune your carburetor to make maximum vacuum, but that'll have to be a different tech tip for another day. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys want to see more of our videos, please hit subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.